Hi guys, it's Danny. It's snowing. Winter is here. I really hate winter. Did I tell you I don't like snow? I would rather live in a tropical country. Snow is only nice on Christmas and then be gone, really. But that's just me. I just really hate snow. So, since it's very gloomy outside and there is nothing much to do, and in my balcony there is a lot of things to do, but it's not quite interesting in the sense that I am doing the treatment for spider mites. Oh, I just finished spraying these guys, so nothing really interesting actually. I decided to show you my greenhouse today. How things are coming along, my greenhouse is not yet ready, but it's, it's going to be ready pretty soon. Uh, when I'm going to arrive there, probably there will be some things to do still, but I'd just like to show you how things look like, because I did get a comment uh, that asked me about the greenhouse and about some pictures and unfortunately I cannot answer to your comment. If you visit the description of this video you'll learn how to set your G plus settings so people can actually reply to you. So I'm gonna show you some pictures now. Okay so here is a look from outside of the greenhouse. Now the greenhouse is built on a sort of a floor of a house which was not built so it's a sort of a terrace. But it's the size of a house, actually an apartment, let's call it like that. So on a section from this level we built the greenhouse and this is the outside so practically I can actually do stuff outside although there is really nothing outside uh, maybe in the future we're gonna do a sort of a bigger terrace but I'm really not sure this is really far future we're talking here but I can definitely go outside the greenhouse I can place some plants outside the greenhouse as well so we don't have like this not arranged view from outside the greenhouse so yeah i can definitely play outside with some plants the problem is i cannot really fill everything because there's no light as you can see there's a ceiling there so as you can see this is pretty much the length of the greenhouse and it's humongous the windows opened sideways which is very nice because i will not bump into anything when i open them i just slide them and that was a very good idea that my boyfriend's dad had also my boyfriend, um, anyway, I didn't come up with this, so I'm really thankful that my boyfriend and my boyfriend's family come up with this idea. It's really useful to have sliding windows, trust me, other than, you know, opening them inside or outside, bumping over stuff. If I would have opened them outside, let's say I could not put anything on the little ledge that you see there, I'm just thinking I'm gonna put some small cacti, I don't know. So yeah, this is the outside look. Okay, so this is another outside look, but this is where the door is. So when we looked at the other picture, we were in front of that little bench you see there that I will try to refurbish because it's so pretty. Um, so yeah, this is the entrance to the greenhouse and actually it's not that narrow when you enter into the greenhouse. On the left side, it extends. So it is practically a sort of a corner, an outside corner of the house, let's call it like that. So we will enter from this side. Now where we are right now, it's the northern exposure. So on this side, we don't have too much natural light. But as we look at the greenhouse, what you see in front is actually the southern exposure, which is pretty nice. And on our right, it's the western exposure. And here we are inside the greenhouse. In front of you, you have the door and the northern exposure. On the left, it's the western exposure. Behind us is southern exposure. And to our right, it's the eastern exposure, which unfortunately I will not have because we have a, a wall there, you will see. But um, I'm gonna have quite a bit of light in half of the greenhouse, really, and I'm gonna use artificial light, but I'll tell you more about it as we slide through the pictures. So here we are inside, as you can see on the floor, we have some tiles. Uh, I was not sure what to do on the floor, I was thinking maybe I should put some, um, I don't know, little rocks and stuff, because maybe I'm gonna, you know, play with water and stuff like that, but then I thought it's not really a good idea, because plants will start to sprout and stuff, so we just put tiles, and actually the tiles are pretty gray and when they're clean they actually look really nice in contrast with the walls which will be white but they're not yet finished as you can see they still need some paint and here is another look from inside in front of us we have the southern exposure and when these pictures were taken it was a cloudy day so you cannot really see but half of the greenhouse gets a lot of direct sunlight and also when the sun slides to the west part we get light from the other windows, the ones that are on the right, so the wall actually gets light as well, but only in the evening. So I'll need to supplement a little bit, but we'll get to that. So as you can see, we have quite a high number of plugs on the wall. And my boyfriend asked me, how many plugs do you actually need in the greenhouse? And I said, I don't know, 
three. <laughs> I am such a mess. And he said, yeah, okay, what if you want to put a fan? What if you want to uh, place your laptop or your phone to charge? Because you're going to sit there on your laptop, right? We're going to put internet inside. So you will be able to answer and, I don't know, do your thing inside. What if you want to put a humidifier? What if you want to put some extra lights? What if, what if, what if? And I told him, you know, you decide how many plugs I need. And I think I have 16 really. And they will really come in handy because I'm pretty sure I'm going to plug in a lot of stuff. Now, the plugs are outside plugs, so they're safe if water comes down on them. Um, because that was my main issue. What if water drips? And yeah, everything is secure, so everybody will be safe. Now, on the left wall that you see, this is where I'll actually put some shelves. But we'll get to that when we see the next slide. Okay, here's another look from inside the greenhouse. In front of us is the northern side and the way you enter in the greenhouse. Now, next to the door, I will place a sink and a sort of a working table, let's call it like that, where I will actually water, uh, spray plants, whatever. It's always good to have a sink in the greenhouse. And Brad from Brad's Greenhouse says the exact same thing and he actually brought a sink in the greenhouse. A sink near you is God sent, really. And I can tell you that because my balcony is really far away from my bathroom and the sink and oh my goodness, my poor feet. <laughs> so yeah, it's always nice to have a sink. So we have the sewage system and everything in that corner. On the uh, right side right now, you see the wall I was mentioning, I'll have shelves there. At first, I thought I would arrange the shelves in a sort of asymmet asymmetrical way, but then I thought it's really not a good idea. It's not functional because, um, as I told you, I don't have too much sunlight in the greenhouse, particularly further back. Um, so what I'm thinking is I will mount LED strips, which I can control light-wise and spectrum-wise. So underneath each shelf, I will stick the LED strip and it will uh, light the shelf below it and so on. And this is really practical because I can place a lot of orchids on the shelves and if they have direct light from above them, it's really the dream. Now in the ceiling, as you can see, we have some sort of bars, something. Now, some of them are fake, let's call it like that. They're not structure. So I can do stuff inside. So what we're gonna do um, in the ceiling is we're gonna put some spotlights. Now, the spotlights will not have plant-friendly light. They will be mostly used to look good to the eye and to look good when I film and to have that amount of light that lets me film no matter if it's cloudy or gloomy or night or day. So those spotlights will probably be warm daylight. Um, some orchids, low light orchids, will do great with that light as well. So the upper shelf will probably be with paphiopetalums, fowls, and stuff like that. And the lower shelves will be higher light orchids. Let, let's call them like that. And in the back where I have direct sunshine, of course, we're gonna have the vandas and catleas. We're gonna make some arrangements. Okay, let's move on to the next slide. So here we have another look on the wall with the windows. Now I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. I'll probably find a way to hang some stuff at some point. I will need to get creative here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put shelves or anything. I doubt it. Maybe I'm gonna put some stands. I have some ideas here, but I'm not sure just yet. I have a little ledge there, but I'm not sure if I can use it because it's tiny. Uh, I'm not sure. Probably this will need a bit of thinking, but anyway, I can definitely fill it up somehow. I don't want to block the windows because they do give me that natural light, so orchids will not stay in front of the windows too much. But right below them, of course, I'll add some orchids, maybe directly on the floor, maybe I'll have the tall orchid sit on this side. There you go, I have an idea. <laughs> so as you can see, plugs everywhere, which is nice, but also on this side, we'll have an AC, and probably it's gonna be a ground AC with the outside unit right next to the greenhouse. And really, this greenhouse will need an AC because temperatures will be dramatically high in the summertime. So no matter what, I will need to use the AC for about maybe two months out of the year, possibly maximum three, but that's just the way it is. So here we're gonna have the ground AC as well. And this is another look from the outside of the greenhouse. This is pretty much it. I forgot to mention that right in the middle of the greenhouse, I'll have a sort of a working table and this is where I'll film probably a lot of stuff, repottings and stuff where I'm gonna need a table. So that's gonna be the working station. And my boyfriend was actually suggesting that we find something that has drawers and shelves and stuff like that underneath so I can keep 
um, my stuff there and that's a really great idea because there's always stuff to keep around like pots and media and um, all the goodies that orchid growing requires. So in the middle we're gonna have the working station, of course we're gonna have tripods and stuff like that, cameras uh, laying around at some point, but maybe they're gonna have their own shelves in the middle, I don't know. We're gonna discuss about this. But that is pretty much it. This is how my greenhouse looks like now. I'm so so excited and yeah I'll get more ideas when I'm gonna be there. So what you see outside of the greenhouse, again, is the terrace, not sure what we're gonna do with it. Uh, probably nothing in the near future because there's gonna be a lot of other stuff to do, like getting furniture for the apartment, which is more essential than the terrace, really. And yeah, in a few months, we're gonna be there. So alrighty guys, thank you so much for joining. If you'd like to see more videos from me and stay up to date until I move and then when I move and so on, just subscribe to my channel. I try to post regularly, but I'm getting ready to leave now. I'll take you along, I'll film everything, the experience. I'm not sure just yet how I'm gonna send the orchids, maybe by cargo, maybe by a courier if it's cheap, I don't know. But we shall see, I'll take you along. So okay, leave me your comments, suggestions or questions you might have in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchinature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section and on the right side of your screen you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you for joining, I'll see you next time, bye!